Hey, 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 New Hope Church, Pastor Jim coming at you with Soul Care Series episode number two of 2024. And I am here with my buddy Annette, and we are going to be bringing to you our next conversation about anger and dealing with anger, coping with anger. As always, uh, hit that, make sure you hit that like button and leave us a comment because we love to read your comments. All right. Well, last week we talked about anger and we talked about getting a hold of our anger. Uh, and the main point of our conversation last week was that God wants us to understand that bad anger is not from him. And, and that you did a really good job of differentiating between good anger and bad anger. And so if you missed it, check it out it. last week. Now, as we get into today's discussion, we're going to talk about the main point that Annette's going to be going through is that God desires us to understand our anger and where and how we get tripped up. Does that sound right? Yes. Okay. Well, let's jump right into this. Uh, so uh, Annette, the next issue that you suggest is to understand your triggers, understand what it is that angers you. Why is that so important? Well, like anything, the more we understand, mm -hmm. the better we can just deal with it, yeah. decide how to manage. Yeah. Um, so when you understand, you can be more prepared yep. and choose, choose your thoughts. We've talked about anger coming from what we're thinking yeah, yeah. about something. So yeah. changing your thoughts uh, yeah. and reactions. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. So what are some possible triggers that people, that, that people have that maybe that in your research that you've run across, what are some of those triggers that, that there are, that you, maybe like your authors that you've read that you see patterns in those triggers? What are some of those? Okay. So the first one, uh, this one is uh, Getting Anger Under Control by Neil T. Anderson mm -hmm. and, sorry, Richard Miller. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Really good um, resource. So just a few examples um, I picked out in triggers are um, a person's sense of they have a right to something. Mm -hmm. So um, one is I have a right to be impatient or rude mm. when other people are behaving stupid. Mm. Mm. Um, I'm entitled to cheat a little bit in order to get ahead mm. if I don't take advantage of someone, so, or I'm sorry, if I don't take advantage, someone else will. Mm. And then they'll be a step ahead of me. Mm. Another one, I work extra hard, but don't get paid for it. So I'm, sorry, it's hard to read in here. Mm -hmm. Justified in helping myself to a few souvenirs mm. from my office mm. to offset what I'm rightfully owed. Mm. So, You've got a lot of examples of your own yeah. that that you are um, being wronged in some way. Yeah. Um, the car in front of me is going 55 and I want to go 60. Yeah. So almost like they're, they're, tr they're intentionally trying to slow me down. Right. They're frustrating me. So, so li like you were talking last week, it's almost a turning back of your focus on yourself and your right. Your rights are being uh, trampled on. And to recognize exactly. this. Good. Okay. All right. Um, all right. The next one, uh, in managing our anger, you suggest that there are some errors that people tend to make. What are some of those errors that people tend to make as they're managing their anger? Um, a biggie is trying to fix this on our own. Mm -hmm. Not forgiving others mm -hmm. is another example. Having grace for yourself. Uh, it, this all takes time. Mm -hmm. This is a process. Um, again, an error is uh, thinking that you have this right of some sort. Mm. 
Uh, another one, uh, I think this is another biggie, someone thinking I am bad. Mm. That's like a person with cancer saying I am cancer. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not it. It's a lie. Right, it's, it's not that I am bad. It's, it's, um, it's the behavior and, yeah. and understanding it and learning how uh, to manage it. Yeah, yeah, that's good, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so with, with these errors that people live with, uh, these errors in their thinking, what, on the other side then, what are some healthy perspectives of how God can use those areas where we can become easily triggered. So another book that I had read was Wayne Mack's Anger and Stress Management, God's Way. Mm. Uh, really super book. Mm. Um, and he points to James 1, 2 through 3. Mm. Um, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, Consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so we're saying, you know, when we see this in the Bible, you know, we're, we're wasting time in being angry it, it's wrong anger. We don't have all the facts. Mm -hmm. We don't know why that car is driving too slow. Mm -hmm. um, instead of that waste of time, that, that anger, focusing on something positive, mm -hmm. pray for that person, mm -hmm. focus on something, you know, you're headed to work, what are co-workers that maybe you need to be praying for or an issue to be, pray for. Which I kind of, you hit on that a lot last week when we were talking about recognizing our perspectives and to recognize that when I'm thinking certain things, how can I redirect those thoughts to thinking something differently? And like you just said, to consider praying when I feel that anger rising up can I pray for that person? Can I pray for what I'm going to be walking into at work? Can I pray for my family? Can all of those different things? It's a choice as to where I choose to put my mind. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And um, often Tim comes to the end of a, um, a, a sermon and he says, now here are some questions. And, and I came up with a few hmm. questions hmm. to ask yourself. Do I understand that anger is wrong. Mm. And what does God say I should do mm. about anger? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Those are our, again, healthy perspectives. Yeah, that's good. Um, you know, God will use trials to our benefit. Mm -hmm. um, we can learn perseverance and patience and 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 in a way uncover these deficiencies we have. Yeah. Um, being intentional. Yeah. Doing some self-assessment. Um, yeah. It's almost choosing, choosing. Am I going to? Am I? Do I want to become like Jesus, or do I want my own way? Do I want to force my own way? If I'm trying to force my own way, I'm probably going to live in this anger. Right. Versus allowing allowing these things to be sources of growth for me. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, what are, what would you say, um, Annette? What are some scripture passages that come to mind that support uh, these thoughts? All right, we have a few, okay. uh, a lot, really, right mm -hmm. in the Bible. But here are a few that I picked out: uh, Romans eight twenty nine, for God knows his, for God knew his people in advance, mm -hmm. and he chose them. To become like Jesus. Mm, mm -hmm. Then Ephesians 4, 14 through 15. Then we will no longer be immature like children. Mm. We won't be turned to, I'm sorry, tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. Mm. We will not be influenced when people try to uh, trick us with lies. Mm. 
so clever they sound like truth. Mm -hmm. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, That's good. growing more like Christ. That's good. That's good. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Don't you realize your body was given to you by God? Mm. You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with yeah. the, a high price. Yeah. So you must honor God with your body. Yeah. And I'm relating our body to our behaviors and yeah. our actions. Yeah, representing Jesus well and serving him. That's good. Okay, that's great. Well, that is, uh, that's what we got for you in the content for this week. We'll have one more for next week that Annette and I will be joining you uh, next Wednesday. So look forward to that. Uh, one reminder, uh, if you are not doing anything Thursday evening at 6.30 uh, down at Holmesville Elementary, the Forge guys are going to be playing basketball against the Holmes County Developmentally uh, Disabled basketball team. Good, just a great time, a lot of fun. Uh, the Forge guys have just a super time. And uh, if you don't want to play but you want to come and watch, it's going to be a blast to come and watch. There are technical fouls called, and our guys get thrown out of the game, and that's really fun to get our guys to see our guys get thrown out of the game. So, uh, I think that's all we got for today. So, everybody have a great rest of your week, and we will look forward to seeing you very soon.